Hi, welcome to the NFPA Link YouTube channel. This page is dedicated to answering key questions that you have related to electrical and life safety. With easy to use digital access to NFPA codes and standards, NFPA Link is your window to productivity. Today I wanna to talk about the placement of smoke alarms. And I'm gonna focus mostly on single multiple station, which is gonna be in you know, homes or, or dwelling units such as apartments or things like that. So we're gonna head and go into the 2022 edition of NFPA 72. And I'm gonna go down into chapter 29, which is a single and multiple station alarms and household signaling systems. And I'm gonna to go to 29.8, which is on detection and notification. So looking at 2981, um, which is required smoke detection, 29811 is going to provide those specific requirements and where I need to place smoke alarms. We're going to go through these requirements real quick. I need to have a smoke alarm in all sleeping rooms and guest rooms, and I need to have one outside of each separate dwelling unit or sleeping area within 21 feet of any door to that sleeping room. So. Those two requirements are, if there's a fire in a bedroom and somebody's sleeping, I wanna be able to notify them. If there is a fire outside of the bedroom, I wanna be able to notify the occupants within the bedroom that there is a fire. Um, so they're gonna be able to get out of the building. Then I need to put a smoke alarm on every level of a dwelling unit, including the basements. Um, the next requirement is every level of residential board and care facility. Again, that's not specifically towards, you know, your typical household um, area. And then in any living areas of a guest suite. So if the house has any sort of guest suites or anything like that, then I need to provide a smoke alarm there. And then finally, that last requirement is towards um, residential board and care occupancies I have to have in the living areas there. Now, if I look at 981 here, in the annex, you know, there's some examples of what this can look like. So here's an example of a split level arrangement. I've got an alarm on every floor, right? So that's a requirement. And then I've got one in each bedroom and one in the hallway. Again, looking at that from the plan view. So here's a typical floor. I've got one within my, um, the entire floor and within the vicinity of all those doors and then as well one in each of those bedrooms so that's how that looks like and then there's you know examples of what that looks like in all the other um, different arrangements now if we get into some more of the requirements in 72 goes over what are my power requirements whether i need to be hardwired um, whether what type of batteries i need to have whether it be replaceable or you know those 10 years and then it goes into requirements about the interconnection but as far as lo locating those alarms, these are those requirements that you're going to need. Um, if you need any more information on how you can use NFPA Link to navigate those requirements or look at any other requirements that you need to get your job done right, I highly recommend going to nfpa.org link.